All right, guys. Crazy B-Ball here. I want to tell you a story of absolute triumph. So, I started this tournament. There was the 10 games on Monday and Tuesday. I played four. Of four. I did four entries because I did not have enough time to actually do all 10. So, on Tuesday, I did all four. Made it to the finals twice. Didn't win either, obviously. And I made it to the quarterfinals and the semifinals. So that's pretty good. That's pretty decent. Out of four games, made it to the finals, semifinals, and quarterfinals. Then I played all ten events. I played. I tried all ten times. And I made it to the finals six times in this ten with the no requirements. Six times in ten. And I, I never lost in the first round. Lost once in the quarterfinals, and the rest were in the semifinals. So... It was one hour, or no, it was 10.50, and it closes at midnight. At 10.50, I was making myself a burger, and I didn't realize, oh shit, I only have one more attempt. And if I don't start before the hour mark, I'm not going to fucking get this. So, I start right at 11. And guess what the first guy I come up against is? Some guy that does not want me to win. I scored a goal pretty quickly, and he pauses. Waits to 40 seconds. We start playing. Every time he gets the ball, any set piece he got, he just sat there until it like forced him to do something, and then he'd start doing it. So like on the kickoff, he'd just stand there, and as soon as it kicked it off for him, he'd start moving. Every cutscene, everything. Even if it didn't waste time in-game, it was wasting my fucking time. So I was trying to go as quickly as possible. I started running to the corner, holding it there so he couldn't touch it. He ended up getting all three pauses in, obviously the halftime. That game should have taken me 15 minutes. It took me fucking 25 minutes to get through that game. So I jump in the next game, trying to go really fast. And this guy was not wasting my time, but not really helping me out either. What had happened was... Uh, let me check my messages. I did not message this guy. So, I just started beating him, and I believe I won 4-1, and the rest of the game was kind of just riding it out, trying to go as quickly as possible. Then I got in the third game, and I messaged the dude after I go up 2-0. I'm like, please just leave so I have time to get in the next game, because it's like cutting it close. It's like 11:39. And it cuts off at midnight, so that's 21 minutes to play a game and then get into another one. So this guy just keeps playing, keeps playing, and I'm like, oh, he's going to try to quit right at the end. Because I offered him 20k if he'd quit, and I won the Nacho. Wait, where's Nacho's name? What the fuck? He's nameless. I think this happened on the other ones, too. But, uh, so this guy, I messaged him, and then in the 80th minute, I was like, deal's off. And he's like, oh, shit, my bad, dude. I would have left if I saw that. Because he, obviously you're not paying attention to your messages that much. I was kind of just begging him because I was already going to win. So I was trying to get him to give me extra time. And what really sucked is my Mertens, my 90 rated Mertens. I went to cross it and he fucking slid tackle one of the defenders from the back and got a red card and got sent off. And I was like, oh my god, I am so fucked. So I get out of that game, have four minutes left. I apply fitness, take Mertens off, put Batshuayi in, who doesn't give the team as... Actually, it was pretty much the same chemistry, because Nine Glenn wasn't on full chemistry anyways. Uh, so put Batshuayi in, put Diego Costa on the bench just as a backup, and I, I search and search and search, and about like two minutes 30 left of it, I find a game, it's got three bars of yellow or orange latency, and I'm like, you know what? I have to fucking do it. And I was away. So his stadium, I'm already like, oh shit. It's the one with the shadows just everywhere. Like beams and stuff everywhere out of shadows. So one thing I was really scared of is if I started dominating this dude but couldn't score, that he'd just leave and neither one of us would get it and I wouldn't have a chance to play another game. Uh, so I get one through ball to Sun. His Diego Alves saves it. I get another through ball to Batshuayi. His Diego Alves saves it. I did a finesse shot and a low driven shot on each of them, and it did not work. Then I took another long shot from Nine Gun. He saves it. And I'm like, oh my god, this is so bad. Then I, I get like on the baseline pretty much next to the goal, but I'm a little far away, so like probably a couple strides away. 
and I take a rip with De Bruyne, and I'm like, De Bruyne, this is all you. You got the shot. He takes it with the outside of his foot, buries it in the far corner, and I'm like, oh, yes, yes, yes. And so we keep playing. He starts ripping long shots with Under Herrera and his Jonathan Vieira, and I'm just like, one of these better not fucking go in. Once he got about four shots, disconnected. And I was like, if this is fucking me, and I wasn't sure if it was like the servers are like, all right, games are over, foot champions is over. But it was a little bit after midnight, so I don't think it was that. I think we could have played our full game if you wanted to, but I think he just quit, and I got the win. And now you're looking at Nacho Fernandez, a story of triumph. I was fucking like, oh, yes! Yeah! And the weekend league has started. Holy shit. So guys, I really hope Nacho Fernandez is worth it. One thing that kind of sucks, I'll I'll look through some of my cards real quick. One, I want to look at Mertens because oh yeah, I want to look at his price because I want to know what the Calcio A like release if it's doing stuff to their prices. Baldy's gone up. I want Mertens to go up because what had happened with uh, Rubin is Rubin went down right as his team of the season was released and I was like oh shit I'm just gonna sell him so I sold him for like 10k profit which I could have sold him for 100k or something so I sold him for 10k profit and then people started realizing oh god team of the season rubbing is 1.5 mil I'm gonna go buy the inform again and then he skyrocketed and I could have made like 150 200k profit so that's what I'm hoping happens with Mertens Baldy got a left mid or a right mid uh, in team of the season so we don't have to worry about him because they'll want this card of him. He's better in the midfield, I think. There's that, Fernandez. But the problem with that is this. Fernandez, left back Fernandez. This one's obviously way better. Five more pace, five more shooting, eight more passing, six more dribbling, five more defending, seven more physical. But yeah, that, that's my story of Triumph, guys. This, I've been trying to win all of these tournaments, and the next one I'm pretty sure is going to be Perisic, and I want that so fucking bad, especially if he's a midfielder, not a left mid or right mid, but, oh, that one's going to be tough. But I thought the Pulisic was going to be hard, and everybody fucking has him, and I won him in my, like, second or third attempt. But that's it. I'm, like, hyped and also tired at the same time. Fuck FIFA. I love FIFA. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.